These are just some of the words that describe the horrific presidency of Bryce Tank Thrust. How's this for a stimulus package, America? She grabbed me by the p we look at the downfall of America's worst leader, who was initially elected after stopping America's worst terrorist. In about 10 seconds, this fucking dog's gonna have more holes than I know what to do with! <laughs> Not so fast, you ugly sex person! Bryce Tank Thrust? You could just call me America, bitch. You don't have the tits to be America! For now, I have new holes! Horny terrorist Bobby Worst finally got fucked, but not in the way he'd hoped. How does it feel to be America's hero? Oh, I don't want to be America's hero. I want to be America's president! We thought we elected somebody noble, somebody with strong leadership skills, but we couldn't have been bigger boobs. I support the rights of all my allies at the LGBT community. Fuck you mean there's a Q now. Fuck's that stand for? Queer? <laughs> oh, it does. You call Dr. Fauci and other health officials idiots. Mm, nah, I don't remember saying those words. You call them idiots. I yeah. wonder well, if Fauci you... Fauci was just an ouchie. You're a straight up pain in the puss, Leslie. Have you had enough after five years of coddling this president's fascist rhetoric? Did you know that dumb bitch was in intensive care for over-tweeting? <laughs> Ma'am, I think you've had too many Diet Cokes. But her addiction was only the beginning. Get the fuck out of my office, my piss! Of a downward spiral that would worsen as the election grew near. Joe Biden shits mayonnaise, and that's just a fact. I said it on tape. I did show the tape. Put it on your website. Oh, you mean eatmyassjoe.org? Ah, uh, don't laugh at that. Good evening, my lesser Americans. We people are facing a pandemic of unparalleled magnitude. A pandemic called laziness. Our economy's going tits up and you're afraid of a few sniffles? I didn't get to where I am now by staying home making TikToks. I climbed the ladder the American way with a briefcase in my hand and a cock in my mouth. How was I supposed to blow my way to those Korean investors if I was worried about getting sick? And the wise words of my business mentor, Carol, never give your staff time off or a confession. So many of my own goddamn employees have ditched their stations, forcing me to cut back on energy usage at my towers. You commoners are acting like a bunch of cuckoo birds, hoarding all the butthole paper as if no one wipes their ass with cash no more. It's obvious you drooling chimps aren't prepared for an outbreak like this. Which is why I've decided to generously share a few excerpts from my best-selling novel, I'm a sicko, but I still want money. The virus is allowed to infect you, ladies, not your income. Did you know COVID hasn't all the way been proven yet? You know it has been proven. You can't find a single open Wetzel pretzel to save your Puss. Meanwhile, I have this fucking country hounding my ass to build a fucking vaccine when I haven't even finished building my summer house on the moon. The 1% are fucked. Congratulations, everyone else. Now we're all depressed. And you think you're so strong, Kovach19? Bitch, I also had a 3% mortality rate. And then I went through puberty. And to prove I'm not afraid to leave my big, fat, white house, here's some footage of me driving around low-income neighborhoods. Look at all these peons. What a great time to be rich like me. This is why I have lawyers. 1% represent! Ah! Drive, Donovan! Uh, I'm social distancing. Well, then who's driving my car? You are. Oh, Donovan, there's a sign I can't read. I'm gonna snap a pic with my smartphone. Can you translate this, hun? Uh, yeah, it says the dollar store. Ah! Who would want a dollar? Oh, look, a gang! Keep the streets alive, boys! In closing, I have a message to the virus. You. Me. One on one. Let's go, bitch. I have the immune system of a lion, the dexterity of ten horses. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States. Joseph Robinette Biden, at 77 years old. Uh... It was rigged. Well, now, Madam President, I don't think there's any evidence that. I guess I caution you to choose the next few words out of your little cock sucking lips wisely. Well, ma'am, I believe this was the most secure election in all of his story. Hey, my friends! This is the United States of America, and we're watching protesters undermine the course of an election. You're damn right, asshole! <laughs> you incited a riot in the Capitol, you dumb bitch! Look, all I did was advise my followers to peacefully march down Pennsylvania Avenue, and we are going to fuck every person in that Capitol! Incredibly dangerous situation that's unfolding. Are you with me? Are you dead? 
don't choose to remember saying any of those words. The 46th President Joseph R. Biden Jr. What are the common objects we as Americans love that define us as Americans? Liberty, dignity, respect, honor. Well, it's a fitting end to an era that has been characterized by lawlessness. Where's my breakfast? Good morning, warriors. Time to With nearly the whole country against her, it wasn't easy for the former president to acclimate back to her normal life. Donovan, get in here and dress me! Right away, Miss Tinker! Don't get blood on my money! My name is... Donovan! 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 I was Bryce's personal assistant years before she was president. Donovan, open this window. It feels good to be richer than all of you. I gotta say, it's nice to have things back to normal. Move my four o'clock to my six. Move my seven to five. Don't ask me what I got going on at three. Botox. Yeah, coffee still tastes like shit. You're like a discount Aquaman. Damn it, Donovan! I got money stuck in my chandelier again. Yeah, hold on. There's something wrong with my laptop. Those of you who didn't vote for me are fired. And there go all my friends. I don't know, Donovan. It's just depressing having to go back to being an ordinary CEO again. Well, that'll be 3276. Mike, ah! The fuck are you doing here? I thought your squirrely ass was down in Cancun. In a shocking turn of events, the former vice president pissed. Could not find a job when people wanted me hung, which if they got to know me, they'd see I was. Oh, well, this is declined, dear. No, no, that's impossible. This is a goddamn infinity card, motherfucker. Right? It was then that Tank Thrust realized that she might be fucked. Boss, you might want to see this. Word that moments ago, video was released revealing that former President Tank Thrust staged the incarceration and escape of Bobby Wurst. Everyone fell for it, Bobby. Yes, but we should still blow up that fucking dog. Ooh. Ooh. All right, enough horning. Yes, on to phase two. Yes, I brought you a Diet Coke. Ooh. Ugh, the worst! No, you idiot, it's full of lubricant so you could slip out of these chains and make it look like an accident. Ooh, you are clever! <laughs> I'm gonna need all your surveillance footage, please. Why? Because I'm the fucking president and I'll grab you by your pussy. How could this happen? That footage only exists on this laptop! Well, it looks like somebody SSH'd into your shit configured laptop through our unprotected leg spread wide Wi Fi connection. Word that all tank thrust corporations are plummeting to an all time low. Can't imagine she's worth a crooked dick at this point, folks. Odds are, if you're watching this, you are now richer than Bryce Tank Thrust. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not hosting a show for this broke bitch. Bye, everybody. Traitor, this show is rigged! Donovan Colbaugh, you haven't been us at the nearest dumpster in 30 minutes. I don't understand. He willingly sacrificed his freedom. He agreed to sacrifice his freedom if I got him out of prison when I was president, and this is how he repays us, by standing us up. Maybe he's out killing people. Maybe he's out killing people. Well, fuck you. Just call me an Uber. I can't do that. Well, then call me one of them lifty loos. Ma'am? You don't have any more money. Well, then why are you still here? Because ride or dies don't quit, ma'am. Hello, gorgeous. I'm Bryce Tank Thrust, business mogul, former president, and sex icon. Make it look tight. But just because I have standards doesn't mean I can't be an ally. That's why I'm introducing my Drag It You collection. Slay with my makeup for men. So mask. Or try my man heels for tops and bottoms. Because we can all f each other a little closer to God. And I don't know what you do with these, but I know you people will. That's a vacuum. Yes, but what do they use it for? I, I, I do think she's trying to change. I'm, usually when she visits the neighborhood, she has the hazmat suit, but not today. She even shook my hand and said something sweet. What time is it? I may not know much about gay rights, but this month I care about them. You can't spell homosexual without me. They keep adding letters, but I keep adding tolerance. <laughs> my precious acronym! Do queers think this is some kind of puzzle for the rest of us? What's the LGBT, my cum dumps? I'm not actually gay. I have a girlfriend. Yeah, well, you fooled me, and you're gonna fool her. If homosexuality is such a sin, then why did God make gay porn so fucking? Hot. The choice to be gay is the 
choice to slay. You told the gays it doesn't get better. I never heard those words, never said those words. Hold on, Donovan, I see a gay boy. It doesn't get better. Well, it did get better, because I got richer. You try putting a stopper in my poppers for when you're ready for that promotion, but not for a stretch. Oh, ma'am, it's midnight. Why the fuck would I care if it's midnight? Well, it's July 1st. Get out! Get, get the fuck out! Get rid of all this gay shit! I took my girlfriend for this job! Well, get her back! Ugh, I'm stuck here in isolation having to diddle fruits! Bobby! I just bought this imaginary festival, now I want you off the roof! I'm on drugs! The only drug you're on is loneliness. I miss people. Thought it'd be funny. Yeah, not to the Chinese after I blamed them for it. Now take a shower, fuck nut. I postmated us some panda. I didn't become the head of the company by being a good person. You can tell your children they won't be having a Christmas this year. Now I had my heart surgically removed with my ovaries last July. Correlate our projection values. Fiscalate our value correspondence. Donovan, it's time for my 12 o'clock servicing. Wow, I haven't come that hard since I gave birth. Marshall, why do you always set me up with the Chinese Uber drivers? Eavesdrop much lucky strike? My son is in town. Schedule a hug for 3 o'clock and move my 3 o'clock to 4 and my 4 o'clock to the break room. If Donna's still in there having lunch, fire her. She has a husband. Most of our employees don't actually work here. We just let them think they do. Rick from accounting. Carla from HR. She has a family. They usually quit about a month into the job when they realize they're fucked. Is that gum in your mouth. Spit it out. <laughs> now clean out your desk. Apparently I've hired nothing but assholes. These are not changing. <laughs> Fuck me! Donovan, some asshole toddler took my cellular! We're running three minutes behind schedule. That means you're gonna have to service me. Bingo! I haven't climaxed that hard since I was six. Working out was a bad choice. Hi, Janet. How are you doing today? Uh-huh. You want maternity leave? Oh, but Janet, I have meningococcal meningitis and I still came in to not do my job. For a pregnant woman, you're sounding like you still get your period. But then I can see a squirrel. The only fucks I'll give will come out of your paycheck. The projected trajectory of... Donovan, do I sound like a mermaid? Donovan, the squirrel got away. I'm surrounded by more dicks than a curious teenager. Pull over here, there's a poor person I want to throw my latte at. One percent represent... Drive Lucky Strike. God damn it, Donovan, I'm walking through a fucking fountain right now. That's good course, but... No, not you, Donovan. I just got off the horn with Jensen and Ferguson from Sturgeon and Virgin. He says the fiscal values in the escrow correspondence have tanked. We're bankrupt. Liquidate the Henderson account. Pull out all charity funds. Service me while you're still on payroll. Fantastic. Ugh, I'm fucking loaded. Donovan, where's my breakfast? Morning, Mr. Mailman. I'm richer than you. My name is Bryce Tangthrust. I'm one of the most powerful entities in the world in the face of a charity that puts starving Chinese children into good neighborhoods in Kenya. Tell my doctor, fuck you, it's coming out of me one way or another. Hi, Marcy, I thought we said we'd have no Valentine's Day decorations this year. Every year I detest the holiday that celebrates the one thing I cannot buy. You're homeless, man. How much to be my Valentine for a day? Dude, fuck you, man. Perfect. This is my new boyfriend, everyone. And I have a boyfriend. And he's got a big dick. <laughs> no, Mom. They have no idea how miserable I am. You're fired. <laughs> oh, God, look at this. I swear, if I see one more heart, I'm going to flip upside down. Oh, my Jesus. And here we are. Okay, grab my tits. Oh, my God. Donovan, this window's not going up. Oh, God. They're casting Aqua Blaster too. Each year on Valentine's Day, I like to pay all my previous lovers a visit. Fortunately, they all hang at the same spot. Hello, Carter. Hi, Dixon. Hi, Steinbeck. You know, I heard it took three gunshots to the head to put this bastard down. <laughs> he was a fighter. I'm richer than anyone who can hear me. I know we're making cutbacks, but these pen holders are just outrageous. Bitch, we know guac is extra. I can take this because I'm the boss. These were all employees of mine. They complained about a glass ceiling so I gave them a dirt one. Roll the window up, Donovan! This was me trying to draw a straight line. I need a doctor. You think that's funny? You think that? You think this is funny? Oh, oh fuck you, lady. Oh. Yeah. Run away! Run away, you limp dick, you be queer! This is There's actually more hearts that are happening in this portion. Why don't we try taking some of these down, huh? How about that? Yeah, just do it. You know, I, I have a boyfriend, but I'm just trying to make it more convenient to the employees here who don't. Uh, okay. Does anyone know how to turn this off? Donovan, I... Help! Are too rich to die! No, Valentine's Day does not get me down. I have a boyfriend, and I plan to have many more. Woo! Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm ready to be compassionate. Hi, Sam. I'm right. My name is Bryce Tank Thrust, CEO of Thrust Babies. You must be Sam. That's me. I just have to say I love all these baby waters for this baby agency. I get it. How'd you find us, Sam? Rip-off report? Fraud checker? I walk into lots of places hoping they're adoption agencies. This time I just got lucky. I see. So you think you can be a parent? I know I can. Why don't you watch this video before neglecting something that could potentially kill you down the road? Most parents conceive their children by dumping one's load inside the other. But you're interested in adoption, you lazy fuck. I'm Bryce Tank Thrust, CEO and curator of the orphans we traffic. Let me talk to you about some of the pitfalls of owning a child before buying one of mine. Did you know the number one cause of divorce is being a parent? You know what doesn't talk back? Disposable income. I'm gonna be honest with you, so they can live a long time. So change your mind before it's too late, because it's better coming from me than a judge that you probably shouldn't be a parent. So what do you think, Sam? Do you still wish to pursue your delusional dream of becoming a daddy? I say enough is enough. I want my baby. <laughs> well, we're out. Here, have a Starbucks gift card on me. They help people with your income feel appreciated. Well, people with even less income make babies by accident every day. All I'm asking for is just one of their mistakes. Aw, you have such a good heart, Sam. Thank you for coming, Sam, and good luck on your quest for parenthood. Here's a parking validation, and if you ever come back here again without an appointment, I will personally make sure that you are thrown into jail. Do you understand me? <gasps> well, you can try and shut me out, but just so you know, I will be unfazed by anything you throw at me. See what he was trying to say. Sam, get your scrawny ass in this car now! <laughs> Must have been important. <laughs> she said she was gonna send me to jail if I come back. Can you imagine me getting ravaged by all those prison penixes? Well, I think that... I can! Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because they didn't have any babies left. I don't know about that. I'll tell you something. Just so you know, I will be unfazed by anything you throw at me. <laughs> what was that? Okay, bye now. I could have sworn I heard a baby crying. I think they're holding out on us with those little gut buckets. They're on to us. This isn't good. We need to find a way to make this stop. But well, why don't we just give him a baby? In fact, I don't think we've sold a single baby since I've worked here. Helen, sister. I hired you, the only other female in my company, because you say one word very well. Do you know what that is? No. Yes. I never say yes. I know. No, I'm no. Just stop. No. Well, if you think that was fucking weird, why you were talking to that gap-toothed broccoli head? I was doing some snooping of my own. I went down to the basement, and as I made my way down there, I found a room that contained something that I could not believe. And what did you find in there? That'll be all, Helen. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go to the break room now and steal someone's lunch. Donna, if any of that were true, no one would believe us. You know something funny, Donna? Right before we left, someone was trying to warn me about something, but I couldn't quite make out the sign. What was his name? I can't... Emer. Elmer, that's the guy. He was trying to warn me about something bad. What do you think it could be? Elmer, would you mind grabbing me a parking validation in that drawer right there? Uh, yeah, one second. I'm sorry, why do you need that? Make sure they both don't make it home. More breaking news in the developing case of Bryce Tank Thrust. Mike Piss has allegedly leaked a voicemail sent to all her accomplices. We are the first to see it here at News to Me. Let's play that clip. Evan, meet me on my island at 5 o'clock. Pack my battle axe and my poetry and be prepared to abandon your religion. 
Donovan, I'm going to have to call you right back. I'm going to have a stroke. I'm Tina Titter. And I'm Flint Dicker. And this, this is, is news, news to me. Tonight, the world's oldest living woman finally passes away. Oh, how tragic. Well, if it didn't happen now, when? And later tonight, why is the hospital so dang packed? Rumors of a mysterious outbreak have been simmering. And I don't know about you, Flynn, but the only outbreak I'm worried about this year is right here on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's about to get wet and windy as fuck. It's not time for the weather, Nancy. What, the weather don't wait to Google that piece of shit? This just in, Nancy's a bitch. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a badge? Sir, your badge? I swear to God, one day I'm gonna have your job, dicker. Why don't you put down that knife? That's why people use the weather app. And more hot dogs are showing up around town, and the attacks are only getting worse. Wiener, we like it or not. Oh, Tina, you're a hoot. Oh, and this just in. A masked assailant just entered the studio and is heading south for the newswriter. Oh, he is now grabbing the newswriter, and he is ripping him away from the tell... From the what, bitch, what? I don't know, the words just stopped. Give us back our news, asshole! Oh, shit, the assailant has just murdered our news writer and he's getting away. This is terrible, folks. Today's forecast is murder. And the worst part is we don't have our top story. Don't get blood on my money. <laughs> Acre Blue, I've been lay locked out. Je suis wants my money. Elmer? Elmer. What? Pretty sure it was Elmer. What? Elmer. What? Elmer. What? Elmer. What? Elmer. Elvis? Sure. <laughs>